Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Tuesday the 8th of September 2020 and we hope and trust our American subscribers and followers have had an enjoyable holiday yesterday. Now over the weekend we published two videos. Why have central banks slowed down their gold purchases where we highlighted that according to the World Gold Council gold purchases made by central banks in the first half of 2020 are considerably down compared to recent years and we offer explanations as to why this may be the case. And of course on Saturday our regular gold and silver weekly update. But we also published a video, uh, so there were three in fact on the weekend, when will silver bulls and bugs have their day? And this one highlighted some positive news for gold but also particularly for silver but perhaps a little way into the future. Now that said we would like to warn our followers, particularly those who may be involved in day trading, that it is indeed quite possible that we may see lower gold and silver prices leading up to the European Central Bank's reporting on Thursday. Now to put this into perspective, we're writing this podcast video at 9 o'clock GMT plus 1 and we'll be publishing it closer to 2.30 GMT plus 1 so it meets those getting up in America at a reasonable time. So it's indeed possible that prices may have changed already. Now currently the gold price is $1,932 and the silver price is $26.99. But admittedly those prices will be a few hours old when you hear this. And we would not be surprised to see gold actually heading towards, closer towards the 1900 level, maybe 1910 might provide some support, but possibly heading towards 1900, and silver certainly touching 2650 in our view, if not going lower. But again, there is some considerable resistance close to that level. So let's see what it's like later in the day. So you must be asking why are we therefore expecting a fall in price? Well, Put simply, on Thursday the European Central Bank will be making an announcement on interest rates and its financial stimulus measures. Now we all know that the US dollar has fallen in the past few weeks against a basket of currencies in which both the euro and sterling dominate or play an important part and the dollar compared with these have, until now, been found wanting. But it is quite possible that this position will change. You see the European Central Bank may on Thursday be rather generous once again in the stimulus stakes, potentially undermining the value of the euro and thereby strengthening the dollar in comparison and therefore the downward pressure on gold and silver prices. Now we mentioned over the past few videos that the dollar is oscillating, the dollar index that is, is oscillating somewhere between 92 and 93 and we're seeing this morning that it is edging above the 93 level. So this tends to lend some support to this argument. Now whether this will continue we'll have to wait and see but it is what traders themselves are currently anticipating. For example IG Markets analyst Kyle Rother told Reuters this morning, in the early hours really of this morning, quote, there is a bit of downside risk for the US dollar denominated gold prices heading into this week's central bank meetings. If it's perceived their ECB jaw boning currency, that could lead, whatever that means, that could lead to another short term lift in the US dollar and drag on gold prices. And this view is further supported by OANDA analyst Craig Earlham who stated if the US Federal Reserve does not announce any fresh fiscal push while the ECB announces some stimulus package in dollar terms gold will face some headwinds. We must also be mindful that on Wednesday the Central Bank of Canada announces its position too, though that will have slightly less of an effect on what happens to the US dollar, but nevertheless 
does have some bearing. Now we would like to read to you or show you a, an interesting article published by Bullion Vault today focused on negative interest rates, which are important because regardless of what happens later in the week by the central banks, it indirectly points ahead that whilst many believe cash is king, in the current economic environment it may not be and therefore alludes to the fact that no matter what happens to the price of gold and silver short term, longer term, it is far more favourable than cash. It's also suggesting that even though rates may be marginally in positive territory in the United States, for example, the reality is they are already negative. So let's take a look at the article, and we will then finish this podcast once the article has been read, and we'll ask you at completion, if you haven't already done so, to kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell sign so that you're notified of our videos as and when they are published. Bullion Vault article, dated Tuesday 8th of September 2020 at 0901. Headline, negative interest rates are here, like you hadn't noticed. We are often warned that negative interest rates are an approaching menace. Not an immediate menace, writes Brian Mayer at the Daily Reckoning. Yet are negative rates already reality in the United States? Has the unholy day already arrived? Today we don the sleuth's cap, step into our gumshoes and unearth evidence that negative interest rates are not the future menace but the present menace. What is the evidence? Under negative interest rates, your bank does not compensate you for stabling your money with it. You instead compensate the bank for stabling your money. A man sinks a dollar into his bank. Under standard rules, he hauls out a dollar and change on some distant date, perhaps a dollar and five cents. These days, he is, of course, fortunate to bring out a dollar and one cent. Yet under negative interest rates, he endures a rooking of sorts. He pulls out not a dollar and change, but change alone. The bill itself has vanished. His dollar may be worth 97 cents, for example. Thus, his dollar, rotting down in his bank, is a sawdust asset a wasting asset, a minus asset. Would you willingly hand a bank a dollar today to take back 97 cents next year? You're a strange specimen if you would. Yet that is precisely as the Federal Reserve would have it. The Federal Reserve wants your money eternally up and doing, searching, hunting, grasping, adventuring, it must be forever acquiring, forever chasing rainbows, forever upon the jump. That is, the Federal Reserve would not allow your money one contemplative moment to sit idle upon its hands and doze. For a dollar in motion is a dollar in service, in service to the economy. The dollar in motion runs down goods and services. It invests in worthwhile and productive enterprises. The dollar in motion in turn sets other dollars in motion as a careening cue ball sets a rack of billiard balls in motion. That is, the dollar in motion stimulates, unlike the dormant dollar snoozing in its bank. Thus, the dollar in motion is an undiluted economic blessing. So runs the case for negative interest rates. Is this case sound? It is not, as our cold and calculating eye judges it. In these pages we have argued the case to pieces. We maintain that economic growth rises instead from a bedrock foundation of savings. An economy built atop this bedrock is a rugged economy, a durable economy. No passing blow will knock it over. And savings must precede consumption. Consumption is a consequence of savings. 
Yet many economists mistake the rider for the horse and believe consumption is the way to prosperity everlasting. We believe it is not, but let it go for now. Let us instead revisit our question. Is the noiseless thief of negative interest rates already among us? A certain Vic Lederman, a financial analyst with Agora affiliate Stansbury Research, claims they are in fact among us. Quote, Folks, negative rates are here in the US today. Unquote. But it is a secret jealously guarded. The biggest banks and money managers have done everything they can to keep this under wraps. They know that seeing negative rates scares people. That fright is justified if you cherish your dollars. But what is the evidence that negative interest rates presently exist? Lederman, BlackRock, Fidelity Investments, JP Morgan Asset Management. These are some of the biggest names in finance, and they all share one thing in common now. These investment managers are all slashing the fees on their money market accounts. But don't be fooled, they're not doing this as a kind gesture. They're cutting fees because if they don't, their money market accounts would show negative yields. There you have your evidence for the existence of negative rates, the freshly fired pistol billowing smoke. Reduced bank fees. More. Simply put, the most basic form of cash savings in the US has effectively turned negative, only to be saved by cutting fees. That means US rates have, in practical sense, entered negative territory. Now the big money managers sure as heck don't want you to see this. That's why they're cutting fees. The goal is to make it look like your account isn't losing money, but outside of this fee reduction, it is. The craziest part of this is that most mom and pop investors have no idea this is happening, and most folks believe that keeping a large chunk of their savings in cash is prudent. Yet can their smoke, can their mirrors, can their whim-wham con us much longer? Fees can only be cut so far, so given the current trend in rates, actual losses are likely just around the corner. So here you have your negative interest rates, not in the future, but the present. And so there is less joy in heaven this day. How can you guard your wealth against the corroding acids of negative interest rates? And this was written by Brian Maher, the Managing Director of The Daily Reckoning. End of article. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, Please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. Thank <laughs> you.